Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use Smart EQ 2 States feature. It's a brand new feature for the newest version of the Smart EQ. I've just did a video for Plugin Boutique on how to use this thing and what it's capable of. So if you want to get the full scoop on this thing, check the link in the video description if you're not already on my blog. If you're already on my blog, you should have already seen the video. It's going to be posted on the same page. But uh, this is a really, really great EQ. It's got this automatic EQ feature which analyzes your audio and sets a high resolution frequency curve for your audio depending on a profile that you set. You can see I've got it on piano here. But what's really cool is this new state feature. So you can actually change the EQ profile over the course of your track. So if you've got like an intro and then your chorus and your verse, each one needs a different EQ curve and you can actually use those states in conjunction with the smart EQ to change it and have it sound better and then automate it in your DAW over time. So I'm going to show you how to do that and along the way you're going to learn how to use it because I need to uh, go ahead and analyze the second part of this song. So I've got this track in here and we're going to pretend that this is the verse and this is the chorus. This is actually not piano right here. This is some keys but I want to pretend that it is piano and it's just different. Uh, stick with me here. So this is the thing I did in the last video where it analyzes this piano part and this is the EQ curve that I've got and let's just go ahead and listen to it before and after. So big improvement, a lot brighter, a lot less muddy and still has the overall body of the piano that I'm looking for. So what I want to do is go ahead and add this to state one. Now I will need to make a different state for state two, which is gonna be, you know, quote unquote, the chorus of the track. So what I'm gonna do is let this play and hit this button right here, which is gonna analyze the incoming audio, make sure my profile's on piano, that's fine. Or maybe I can actually change it. Let's see if I have some keys over here. No, so piano is the best uh, to go with here. I could go standard, but I think piano is close enough for key. So I'm gonna leave it on the profile piano. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I'm gonna run it and let's see what happens. So we let it run until it stops blinking and you can see that it's a different EQ curve. I'm gonna keep everything else more or less the same, though I could come in and make some adjustments to the regular EQ positions. It does have mid-side capabilities. Again, I talked about all this stuff in the other video, so if you wanna know about it, go check it out. But what I wanna do is just hit two plus, boom. And now if I go to one, EQ curve for the first part of the track, boom. EQ curve two is for the second part of the track. So we're looking at verse, chorus here. It is different. It does make a difference. Now we can automate that change inside of the DAW so I don't need to worry about it. And you'll see right here, if you don't see your automation inside of Ableton Live 10, you just gotta hit the A button. Uh, make sure you're on Smart EQ two. And it says Smart Band Select. And all I need to do is get my pen tool, that's B if you don't see it, and click right here and drag down. And now watch what happens to the Smart EQ. And by the way, we can resize the GUI. If I'm gonna pull it down so we can see a little bit better. Watch what happens when I go from this point to this point inside of the Smart EQ. Boom, it's automated, the EQ change. I have more than one state. I can have up to nine different states, which is usually more than enough you'd ever need inside of a track. Or maybe you've got some sort of presentation going on with different speakers. So you can imagine if you've got like a presentation, right? And I'm the audio mix engineer for the presentation and I got nine different speakers, each person is different. I can come into my profile before the show starts, come in and choose speech here, get a profile for each one of those people add those states right here, and then I can either come in manually and change them while they're talking, or if there's a set time limit and it's very, you know, synchronized, we can do it that way. But having the availability to have up to nine different states is super dope. You can also A, B right here if you're just looking to decide which one sounds better, you can do that using the A, B system here. These are, it's essentially like A, B, C up to nine, however many that is. I don't know how many, I'm not gonna talk about it, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you, how to automate that and uh, show showcase the new state feature inside of here. Again, links in the video description if you wanna check out more about the Smart EQ 2. It's a super great device and it's on sale right now for super cheap. So go check it out. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I'll see you in the next video.